Where am I? What is going on? Will someone tell me what's going on there, please? Will you shut up and stop shouting? Okay. I'm sorry. Where are we? Can someone tell me wh what we're doing here? What is going on? How did you get here? There was this horrible sand and I was, a, I was running and all of a sudden I saw myself in this pit. Young man, that is how we all got here. We could not actually tell when or why. Well, you see? How long have you guys been there? Are you not thinking of getting out at all? It's a terrible place, isn't it? Huh? Yes. But... Have you not thought of um, crying for help? Maybe... Someone will hear our cry of help. We've all shouted. Let's shout, help, 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 help. Will you shut your stinking mouth? We've all tried to shout for help, no help. How do you understand, fool? Okay. I know there is someone there. Who can hear our cry of help? For he's able to, to save us all. Yes, he is. Who? Maybe we should call him. His name is Jesus. He can hear our cry of help. He is able to save us all from this. From this beat. Did I hear you say Jesus? You are a big fool. Now I know. Why would Jesus lead you to fall into this horrible pit? If we cry unto him, he is able to 
We are a cry of help. And he's able to deliver us all. If we cry Young out man. to him. Yes. There is no hope of getting out. Lord Jesus. I know you can hear us. I know you can hear a cry of help. Will you just save us from this horrible pit? Lord, save us. Save us, deliver us. Deliver us from this horrible pit. Lord, help. Lord, help. Lord, help. I've never seen a bigger fool than you. Has your God answered? I told you, there is no God, fool. <laughs> I just pray nothing bad happens to me. I pray. I just pray. Did you see the person that dropped the rope? Not really. But I 
I caught a glimpse and the person was wearing a white robe. I think your dream has a very simple meaning. It is quite explanatory. Really? You said one of the people called the pit an horrible pit. Is that not so? Yes. Yes. <sighs> if you look through the Bible, the book of Psalm 40, verse 2, says, and he brought me out of an horrible pit. If you read that further down, the verse 3, says, and he put a song of praise in my mouth, even unto our God. Many shall see it and shall trust the Lord. Then, in your dream, when you came out of that pit, you left the place. You did not help the other hopeless people out of the pit. Do you know what that means? No, not at all. It means you have enjoyed the messes and the goodness of God, and you failed to tell others. to buy drugs. No, I won't forget it. How could you? How could you push me? Ah! Now. <coughs> ah! Now. Ah! 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 
Get you off me! Get off! Who did you get him off? Try to me. Oh God. Get up. Mm. Just get up. Get off me. Just go. What is going on there? Oh God. No, not again, no. Oh God, no, I'm having none of this, no. afraid of what their reaction will be. Maybe they do not want to be bothered. In that case, you are their greatest enemy. Because you failed to tell them about the love of God through his son Jesus Christ and his willingness to help and save them. You are guilty of this. And God is telling you that from your dream. Jesus walked the streets of the earth, and there's no denying the fact that he went around doing good. But man yielded to temptation from the adversaries of the devil, the old serpent, the archenemy of man, and allowed sin to the access into God's perfect world and into the future and life of man. Man became polluted. And God, to prove his love for man, he made the sacrifice. He gave a part of himself. The very word of his mouth, his only begotten son, to die for the sins of man in place of man. And as many that believe in him will not perish, have eternal life. Yes, to save a wretch like me. I was lost, so lost, but now, now I'm found. I was blind, but now, yes, Lord. He brought me out of a murky clay and set my feet on the rock. He changed my life from what it used to be. 